How come ratting is becoming more expensive than stalking metal robux? Not the price of the animal, of course. The price of the kit. This evening, Tim has a Daystate Delta Wolf with Pulsar Digex scope on top. His gamekeeper friend Roy is spotting using the Pulsar Axion monocular, the one with the laser rangefinder, and David is filming through the Helion 2. It's totally over the top, of course, and with all that technology, there's always the danger of an information overload. Come on, ready, ready, make it ready. <laughs> pig arc, shed, far shed, pig arc, pig arc, and I'm going like this, I'm going like this. Before heading out to this little petting zoo, Tim had changed the MTC scope on the day state to the NV. He's been hunting with it already, as well as taking badger close ups when stalking rabbits. We're going to a local farm. It's actually an interesting place. They actually, it's, it's like a, 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 a school where people actually go and see animals. And uh, they have quite a few kind of problems with rats. And they've got a lot of small fields, a typical Sussex kind of farm in some ways. And uh, they've got a lot of rabbits as well. So we said we'll kind of try and hopefully get a few rats around the, the, the um, chicken runs. And then we move out into the fields and get a few rabbits. And uh, it'll be really interesting to see how the, um, the, the Digex kind of, the N450 works. Back to the farm and we're anticipating Roy will be on fire tonight. He is new to thermal technology but he's taken to it like a duck to water. However, he has made some home improvements to the Pulsar which he is keen for the Pulsar HQ in the Ukraine to consider. I'll ask you about his technology. Have you got your specs on you? <laughs> go on. Come on. Come on, Roy. Tell Bring us, something tell special. Us, come on. Bring something special. Come on, Roy. Come on. What, about this technology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Mm? There's there's no way you can describe it apart from that, you know, time time wise it's a serious time saver. Yeah, it's very it makes you a lot more effective now. But we found actually, you know, that you've actually you've actually found a way of actually kind of dealing with the issue with this what we call night blindness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? So you if you're looking through the lens, you take it away and you, you've lost your your night vision basically. Yeah. So so tell me, how do you deal with it? Well, a friend of mine said, try holding it away from your eye, which mm -hmm. I've, I have done, which helps. But if I were using it for any amount of time, I'd still get this irritant in my eye, you know, it sort of like a pricking sensation. So I started to put on a pair of shooting glasses, which are a little bit <laughs> shaded. <laughs> and at night you can still see, no trouble at you, all. You, yeah? Yeah, but, well, you, you're not really looking through your but eyes. But everything's orange at night, so it's dark and orange. Makes no difference, Doesn't it? does it? You're okay. looking through this, aren't you? Right, okay. So if yeah. you go out in a field, you know, and then obviously if you're going to take a shot at something, just take it off. Okay. But otherwise, you can leave it on this sort of light and look through it, and it doesn't alter anything yeah. at all. So it's, I'm just checking the date actually. It's not April the 1st, is it? No. No, this is, this is for real, is it? This is for real. <laughs> Honestly, I, I tried one a while ago, a um, fleur hmm. that someone lent me, and I, I thought, yeah, this is fine. And then you get that pricking sensation, and I never used it. So David kindly lent me this one, and I tried it, and I thought, there's got to be something. So I started looking for Quality Street, a box of Quality Street, so I could undo the wrapper on the nut one, the purple one, to put the wrapper up. Hang on. This is getting worse. Oh this is getting God, worse. R&D at Pulsar, <laughs> and you come this, up with a Quality is, Street wrapper. A Quality Street wrapper. All I wanted to do was cover the front lens. Why purple? Any colour, it doesn't matter. You just like matter. that colour, you like I that flavour. Well, it's just that when we were kids, we'd always look through that, <laughs> and it was, you know. So I thought, logically, Quality Street, so, or whatever it is, yeah. and I couldn't find any. So I found a pair of my wife's old sunglasses, which were darker than this, and I took the lens out of the right eye, and I put the lens in the left eye, and I used it, and yeah, I got the benefit from it. It didn't alter what I was seeing. At okay, all. That's interesting. And then I tried these 
and these are fantastic because it doesn't alter at all. Okay, well perhaps a bit later on when it gets dark we'll um, we'll try this this theory but you haven't, you haven't convinced me <laughs> I mate. You, sorry, I want the quality street. Yeah. Yeah. Perfectly <laughs> honest. I want to see prototype number one. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, it helps me. Mm. I don't say it's going to help everybody mm. but it seems to help me. Mm. So. Why like, impulse I think of that? Quality Street. Yeah, exactly. I mean, quality Street, yeah. I yeah. mean, couldn't get simpler. See? Celebration. There, we are. there you go, mate. There you are. Well done. Roses. Yeah. Roses. <laughs> Glad you see, you bring everything to every time we see you. Pick something new. Pick something new. Yeah. At least we weren't blowing on anything this time. <laughs> the night is young. <laughs> okay. We'll give it we'll, a go. We'll give it a go later on. Incredibly, the big question is, do they sell quality street in the Ukraine? And we can't miss out on the additional strap for ease of deployment. On with the ratting and there's movement, but all activity is taking place behind the mesh, which Tim's not keen to shoot through. So I'm just in night mode. So it goes from the bright screen, hopefully, to the... Um... There we go. So we're, now, so we're now in red. So it's just a lot better, obviously, at night time, because it's the, the glare. I can actually oh, change it. I'm going to have to go from my... Yeah. I'm going to have to change mine to get the show it off. So that... So that's, that's, day, that's day mode. Mm. Night mode. On. And that's oh. night mode. There you go, so it's not so bright. All adjustable. The Helion 2 picks up everything beautifully, then Tim has to try and find it, with Roy giving him a range. This fox is out at 150 metres. There are a lot of rats, but they are fast on their feet. Eventually Tim makes contact with a couple. Well, it's been a really interesting night, but the, the, one of the problems we have is that, uh, that the, 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 the rats are rather, rather kind of cute and they just seem to know, as soon as we pick the rifle up, they kind of scarper off. Oh, and nice. the other problem we've got is we've got so much kind of chicken netting everywhere. It's probably one of the trickiest kind of rat shootings I've ever had, actually, but really good fun. It really is. But there's so many rats here, so I think we need to come back if we're invited and we'll hopefully get a few more, but we didn't do particularly well tonight, but we had a good laugh and... Uh, I'll have a next <laughs> But no, no, it's good. No, we got a few anyway. That's the most important thing anyway. They've been hard won. Even though we think we're winning the arms race, the rats will always have strength in numbers. For more information about the Pulsar kit, go to thomasjacks.co.uk.